Hey there guys, today's video is going to be a tutorial on using Stripe and getting payments or receiving online payments uh, for your business or a service you're offering. Uh, this is going to be a super straightforward, not super in-depth because I feel like some of the info that we need to input is kind of like uh, confidential and I'm just going to walk you through it. Step number one is going to be to go over to Stripe. Uh, it is stripe.com or you can Google search it, what have you. I already have an account. But as you know, if you click on sign up, which is what you have to do, if you haven't already done this, you need to literally go through and input all of your information for your business per se. And I would advise uh, to get yourself a doing business as, you know, because if you're doing um, if you're doing Stripe for like services or business, it's going to ask you all this stuff. And I would advise that you have a business checking account because you can tie it to that. You can use your personal, but I feel like you should be separating it. That's my personal opinion though. So step number one is to create a Stripe account. It's going to take you maybe like 10 minutes to do all the stuff. Chances are you might get like halfway through it and be like, oh, I don't have this. I don't have an EIN number and I think I want one. So you're going to have to go register one at the IRS website or whatever you do. Uh, but guys, it's going to take you a minute to do that. So once you have signed up to Stripe though, we're just going to fast forward past that past that because i feel like there's other tutorials on like how to sign up for a stripe account it's just like it seems so like e easy it's just like input your info and sign up it's it's just that so once we are in stripe and how you collect or receive online payments you know because chances are you're going to be overwhelmed and this is kind of, that's kind of what this tutorial is going to touch base on is how you're going to collect payments online from people how are you going to get that cheddar you know what i mean uh so all right so step number one we're going to have to create an invoice because this is how this works in the business world, right guys? So this is the dashboard here, which is dashboard.stripe.com. And over here in the right hand corner, it says create. What we want to do is click on, click this create button and click on invoice. There's also, you can also set up a subscription. So maybe you have, you know, uh, an advert or a marketing agency where it's a subscription service or what have you. Uh, but yeah, most of the time it's going to be an invoice. And I do a lot of this because I run a small marketing agency. As you can see, this YouTube channel is Mid Media Marketing. And I charge people for consultations, set up stuff. I help them just do tech. I help people fix their Facebook accounts, like literally tons and tons of just tutorial how to stuff. So, all right, so back to what we're doing here. This is where we create an invoice because this is how we're gonna charge people uh, to get payments or receive payments in Stripe. So this is the tutorial. Uh, so for customer, what you want to do here is you want to add the email in which in who you are sending the invoice to. So I'm just going to add my email, which is mid media marketing, just for sake of it, this being a tutorial, mid media marketing at gmail.com. And you can click on this or you can add them. I advise, or wait, that wasn't the email. Dang it. All right. So Gmail dot com so that's the email and then i would advise that you add their name because you want to be uh you want to have this legit right add their full name and then click on save customer save customer that is now going to remember that customer from now on and as you and as you fill out this invoice you can see it's starting to populate over here on the right and this is mine it says mid media invoice and it shows you what's going to populate on the invoice so far it says due date all right, so the next item that we want to attack here is the item. And um, what you wanna do here, this is your services. What you wanna do is you want to name your service. A lot of times I will do like a marketing consultation, consultation, I have a bunch in here. Uh, 40 minute marketing consultation is $100 and then I'll add it and it says quantity and it says price, make sure everything is final, like what you want it to be and then click save and then you can choose to collect the tax automatically, but to do that, you're going to have to have your, your customer's address. I don't have a lot of my customer's addresses, so um, you can just choose not to, and then you don't need the address, but it won't collect taxes. Um, your tax guy might hate you at the end of the year, but that is what it is. And you can see here, the next is when to request the payment. That is going to be Obviously, if you're choosing to do that at a later date, you should edit that. I always send it just the minute I'm done with it, which is today. And then you can choose, you know, it, it, how this works, guys, is when the invoice gets sent to the customer, 
it uses all the payment methods available through Stripe, which is literally everything almost. And that's what makes Stripe so good. Like people can use PayPal, uh, credit cards, literally anything. And that's what's amazing about it. This is one of the most widely used payment processors for businesses on the planet. And that's where we're using Stripe. That's why you came here and you decided to use it. All right, I'm rambling. All right, so um, you can also, the delivery, include a link to online payment page. Yeah, you want that on there, that auto fills. So taking a look at this, the invoice on the right here, just look at it and make sure everything is correct. The due date is today. That's my company. Um, and then it's sending to the person and their email. And then if you have everything lined up correctly, what you should do is click on review invoice. And it says send invoice to me for $100. And then you can CC anyone you want. You can add, essentially what that means is you can have this same invoice sent to different emails, just as like, as a copy. You know what I mean? Even though you'll have copies inside of Stripe itself and then click on send invoice. And I'm not going to send it just because this is just a, a draft to kind of do this tutorial. Um, but this is how you're going to receive online payments. And then once they have paid what you can do, or once to figure out if they've paid yet, you can go back to the homepage here in Stri or Stripe, click on billing, and then click on this invoices tab. And it's going to populate all of your invoices. And uh, if they've paid or not, or if it's, um, or, or if they haven't paid, it's going to tell you all this. And a lot of times, this is how you figure out if a person has paid. You know, like if I'm doing a marketing consultation, I'll go and check to make sure they've paid before we get into the Zoom call and I help them, if that makes any sense. So uh, hopefully this video helped you learn how to receive online payments uh, using this Stripe payment tutorial. This is how to use Stripe in a sense of like for your business to receive payments. Uh, it's super basic. Uh, what's great is then you can use this at the end of the year to do all your taxes. You can come in here, look at all the reports. You can look at billing, payments. You can do tons of tons of cool stuff in here. This is exactly what you need to be running like your small business and to, to get your foot off the ground. So uh, hit me up in the comments if you guys have any questions uh, or if you guys need marketing. Uh, I am your guy. I run a small uh, marketing. Oh, why can't I speak right now? A small marketing agency. So guys, please hit me up in the comments. I can help you guys. I will see you in the next one. How to receive online payments. Uh, this is the Stripe payment tutorial. All right. See ya.